The South Texas brush country is a unique environment and the hunting styles that they use here are an adaptation to that environment and these ranches down here are active cattle ranches there's also a lot of oil they're also managed for white-tailed deer and there's a lot of money in white-tailed deer leasing this land because this land grows some big white-tailed deer some people will do some unethical things to get to those big white-tailed deer and that's what this story is about the first thing that you have to understand is how this system works down here and the the ranches lease the land for deer hunting and because this land is so harsh and the brush is so thick and everything's got thorns and stickers on it you literally can't hardly walk a couple hundred yards without getting your clothes torn off of you so if you can't go to the deer you have to bring the deer to you so that's how they hunt them in order for the game and parks department to reach their management objectives and to keep the deer population under control and also the buck doe ratio in balance um, they have a certain number of deer that need to be harvested off of each of these ranches because of the way they hunt this country they feed the deer corn and protein and so forth and then they use box blinds like this so you can get up and see above the brush and that's how they hunt these deer each of these leases has a lease manager who controls the hunting and um, and the hunters as they come and go and so forth and then so these hunters are under control of the lease manager this is the 138,000 acre Duval County Ranch and this particular lease is about 6,000 acres it's one of the pastures on that ranch now Jim Stinson is the manager of this lease and one of the hunters who hunted it with him was named Skip objective of course is they're trying to grow big bucks and everybody's excited about big bucks with big antlers so they kill management deer and they kill um, trophy deer management deer are an important aspect to this because what you're doing by killing some of the management deer is taking some of the poor genetics out of the herd and leaving the deer with better genetics to breed so both does and bucks of course have genetics that contribute to antler size and a buck that has the right genetics to grow a big rack if he breeds with a doe that also has really good genetics to produce a buck that will grow a big rack if those two get together you can have a super buck and that's what happened here on this pasture there was a buck that just completely blew up and when he was two and a half years old you could already tell that his, his big rack meant that he was going to get really really big and when he got three and a half years old he's even bigger there's about 10 people involved in this Jim Stinson is the manager of this pasture and then with the leadership of the Duval County Ranch uh, and these people that are hunting this particular pasture where this giant buck lives they got together and they said they made a pact I guess you could say among themselves where we're just going to let this giant buck live out his natural life and continue to pass his genes on and improve the entire gene structure of this whole pasture so that's what they agreed to do and when the buck hit four years old it was an absolute giant scoring about 200 over 200 inches of antler on december 23rd the guys that hunt here all went home for christmas except for one guy and that guy was Skip. Skip came back and uh, decided to hunt. And he decided to hunt in the area where the super buck was known to frequent, which is this area of the pasture right here, and this feeder. So unbeknownst to anyone else, Skip shot the buck. Now the tags, the number of tags and everything is really tightly controlled, and every buck, before it leaves the ranch, has to be measured weighed and aged by a ranch manager who works closely with the game and parks department and they record all this information trying to improve the quality of the deer on this entire ranch and you cannot leave the ranch without one of these are called mld tags on your deer it's illegal okay the other thing is that you cannot take a deer across state lines that's not legally tagged so when Skip shot that buck, now he's got a problem. 
first of all, he broke the code that you're not supposed to kill that buck. Secondly, he left the ranch without having it checked in. And thirdly, he took it back to where he lived in Idaho. So Jim and all the other hunters, they didn't know what happened to this deer. It just kind of disappeared. And the next hunting season came and went and the deer was gone, but Skip didn't, didn't come back. So Jim started to get suspicious about this. So Jim hired a private investigator as he became more and more convinced that Skip killed the deer. The private investigator started to snoop around. Skip was living in Boise, Idaho. He checked taxidermists and everything he could do to try to figure out if there was a buck of this size. It, you know, if a taxidermist mounted this buck, he'd remember it. He ends up discovering that Skip's house was for sale. He goes and poses as a potential buyer of the house and learns that the buck is in the house. So he got the federal authorities, got the Texas Game and Park law enforcement and got them all involved and on December 24th, Christmas Eve, exactly two years after Skip shot the buck on Christmas Eve, federal game wardens walked up to his door, knocked on the door and confiscated the deer. Now Skip had broken a lot of laws and the Lacey Act violation of taking an illegal game animal across state lines is really a severe law and there's a pact of a bunch of western states that are all together and if you lose your hunting license for a game law violation in one state they ban you from hunting in all those states. So he lost his hunting license in a whole bunch of states. He was fined the estimates run somewhere between ten and thirty thousand dollars that he was fined and the the buck was taken away from him the super buck is now part of the texas game and parks departments traveling shame wall of shame they call it for poached deer in a way we all like to see wrongs righted and we like to see people who do bad things get what they got coming to them so if you're ever at a place where the Texas Game and Parks Department is showing their wall of fame of these poached bucks. Be sure to look up the super buck. It was potentially one of the biggest bucks of all time that was killed way too early because by the time it was uh, five or six years old, it would have been absolutely one of the biggest bucks in the world.